And I look to make trouble. I, I call myself a cultural provocateur. The Art Directors Club found cultural rabble-rouser George Lois celebrating the launch of his latest book, Damn Good Advice. The advertising icon also announced the donation of his legendary archive to the Vignelli Center for Graphic Design Studies. Yeah, it's a very exciting night for me because it's not only uh, the uh, book party for my book, which is my 10th book, it's like a handful of dynamite, because I think it could be a life changer for, for young talent, you know. And then, of course, the fact that recently I just announced that I'm giving my archives, everything here and everything, uh, i got tons of stuff. This, this is one resilient of my work to uh, the Vignelli Design Center in Rochester. I think he's the best one in his field. I always thought he was the most creative one, most powerful one, really the superman in the advertising field from the 60s on. He has to be one of the most creative people that I've ever known. And there's a lesson in that for, for students and for professionals and others. Well, it's a wonderful book because it's short, small, very much to the point, and of course very useful for any creative person, really. And it's done in a inimitable George Lois style. The best damn good advice he ever gave me, be reckless, which is a takeoff on his George Be Careful, which is his anti-slogan. I like the way George does things like this that are so emphatically correct and the borderline ugly. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Because after all, if you don't make a statement, what's it all about? And that's George. That's George. Who does remember I Want My MTV? I think his work is so inspiring and really shaped our culture. Well, it was always uh, graphic images, always very simple, very to the point. There wasn't any uh, jerking around with stuff. This was the ad campaign that George created. Uh, the brand used to be called True Focals. And George said, you can't have an ambiguous brand name. You need something that's bold and really speaks to the, to the clarity of purpose of the brand. So he rebranded this Super Focus. George never gave me advice. If there was an idea, it was be yourself. Do what you believe in and just stay on that path. I tell people that you should be the happiest when you're creating. I mean, there's an edge to it because you're trying to come up with a big idea, and so there's some anxiety, but it's thrilling. I did an ad that said, we're pushing leotards. Called a photographer, told me to get a woman with a strong body, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we didn't have time to get a hand model, so I volunteered to be the hand model. I mean, what I do, I do my part. It was the most successful ad Kim Strand Island ever ran. Hey, if I can't go to Europe, just yell, go to hell. And you got to understand, showing that to the yell people, they looked at it and they said, that sounds like you're saying, go, I'll go to hell. I said, yeah. A creative person without a, a sense of humor has a serious problem, it's it in my book. Comedy is the most delicious thing in the world, you know? Tommy Hilfiger was an unknown designer. Nobody knew who he was. I did one ad, he became famous. There's no conviction in understanding the culture, having fun with a, with a brand today, none at all. Everybody wants to be safe. He's crazy. He is absolutely crazy. Brilliant crazy. And he's willing to take risks. And he's willing to show people that they don't know what they want until he shows them. I've read the book three times. <laughs> I'm gonna read it again. The people that read this book will appreciate the talent of George Lois even more. George is the greatest. He's the greatest friend. He's the greatest talent. Look at, look at the work on the walls here over the years. He's such a talented man, and done so many things, and done so many things for so many people. And we all love it. I mean, my goal in life is to create iconic work, you know, uh, and I do it much at a time.